Good morning, my beloved, and welcome to my channel. My name's Taki. I'm a woman after God's own heart, a mum of three, and a certified health coach. Let's get into the video. Hi, guys, and welcome to 96 hours, five days. If you know maths, you know five days is not 96 hours. But I cheated on my first day. If you haven't checked that video out, please do. So it's hard to officially what to call this, but officially I've been fasting for 96 hours. Not at this moment in time, because it's 5.35 in the morning. Um, so it's I don't been, know how many, by the end of the day it will be 96 hours. Yes, guys, and even my goal or my, my ultimate habit system is to be getting up right now at six o'clock and working my way up to four and I woke up at 4 30 today naturally and I didn't go to bed as early I went into the bed but I was on the phone doing some stuff until very late so it took mm -hmm. up naturally we we have been struggling for months even years but to be doing it continuously um with no pressure i think having a lockdown helps i used to think maybe keeping busy helped but no i feel like um having that goal praying about it to be honest i've been very diligent with the lord to help me with this because i do believe waking up will make such a difference in my life and for the last couple of days where i've been waking up early i have found myself quite tired by the early evening which is good and i am getting um some work done i'm still sharpening up the saw a bit and finding out better ways for me to more efficient in my day but it's getting there as i'm up early today i'm going to make sure in the evening after the baby's had her, her dinner we're going to go for a walk that's something i want to establish and do maybe two or three times a week um if you don't know nothing about me and the journey please check out the first video for the snake juice diet and even if you want to check out my OMAD playlist um, where I did OMAD for 14 days. I didn't get much results on that, but it was a good experience. Please check that one out too. So um, if you watched yesterday's video, you'd see that I pooed myself. But after, after that, it was only a little bit. And after that, I had the two shots of apple cider and lemon and actually tasted really good. It soothed my stomach. My stomach was growling a lot in the night um but going to sleep just helped that and i woke up so i'm gonna be weighing myself before i have my tea so um follow me on that journey i just thought i would check in and let you know how i'm feeling from last night and yeah that's about it guys so if you're new to my channel welcome I make faith-based content in Christ, intermittent fasting, health and fitness, and a feminine lifestyle. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So... If you watched my video yesterday, please check it out. I had a little bit of an accident and I've got a little bit of water left. But because we're only going up the road, it's only going to be an hour. This is what I'm going to drink. But I'm going to show you how I make this. But the issue that I'm having is because I had an accident yesterday, I am not going to put the full amount in. So, last time I showed you, when Cole did this, he, he made it in a litre a litre of water this is a litre and a half so it's two spoons of the pink himalayas and two spoons of the low salt for each litre so i'm gonna have to put three of each in there but because i had the accident yesterday i'm not going to take the risk i'm going to do what i did yesterday and just put two of each okay i'll do that and then um i'll finish drink this and then throughout the rest of the day and another thing as well i'm not able to consume all of it so for me that's better so half is for the day so 750 mils is all right for me and i'm going to make sure i drink a lot more fresh water as well because yesterday 
I never drink any fresh water, just the apple cider shots and that and the tea. And I had the tea this morning as well. Okay, let me just make this. So I'm gonna drink a little bit of this just to make sure that it doesn't spill over. So remember, if it's a litre of water, it's two spoons each. If it's a litre and a half, it's three spoons each. If it's two litres, it's four spoons. So, one. And this today I'm using the fine Himalayan salt, not the coarse one. And then the low salt. I'm using two spoons as well. So guys, so this is my electrolytes for the next two days. I'm gonna let that sit anyway. I'm not gonna take that with me. And from next week, I'm gonna start adding the pepper. Um, yeah, and that should help with fat burning and um, heat, keeping the body warm because I am feeling a bit cold as well. Okay, guys, I hope that was good. I hope that was a lot more clearer than um, any other days that I've done. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So guys, it's about 9.30 and we're on our way to the shops. My baby. Mama, I was like Yeah, I was gonna take the bus but I thought you know what just walk it save some money and get some fresh air because I haven't been out in a couple of days. Um if the if the weather's not the best once again it looks like it's gonna rain but we're only going up the road because I want to get an avocado to help break my fast with and I want to get some seaweed. I don't know if you guys know about the zinc in the seaweed so when I break my fast with the pea protein, I'm gonna have a pack of the dry seaweed with it. And it's just made with dry seaweed and sea salt, not the stuff that has all the other junk in it, the sugars and all of that. It's just very bland. It tastes very fishy. And when you're very hungry, it tastes good. Okay, guys, I will check in with you in a bit, probably when I'm at the shops to kind of show you what seaweed I'm getting and the bits that I'm getting. And I hope you're all keeping safe and good. Like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Take care. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. I'm just checking in. I think it's about 15 minutes past one. Oh, so me and Edie went up to the shops. And I just got a few bits and I'm just going to kind of go through N nothing major. Just got a few bits and I'll go through them and you. But I do want to tell you how physically hungry I am. Not mentally. I'm not even craving. I don't even I'm not even thinking of mm, I, I would like. No, I my belly is hungry, but I won't lie. I've only had a little bit of that salt water. I was scared to drink too much when I was out because I didn't want an accident to happen. Um, but because I'm feeling like this, after I speak to you guys, I'm going to make myself my kidney shot. If you haven't seen how I make that, please check out yesterday's video. I'll leave it up here. So let me go through what I bought. So you, if you haven't watched any of my videos, please check them out. So you know on Sunday, I'm going to break my fast around three o'clock till seven i'm going to give myself a four hour eating gap and the reason i'm going to do that is because i want to introduce the food to myself now what i'm eating on this um when i break my fast i would not advise this if you are not going to go on to fast for longer meaning you're just doing this fast for five or seven days three days yeah it's because I'm going to be fasting for the next 41, 42 days. So this is why I'm doing it like that. I'm going to have, so 41, 42 days, it's like six weeks. So I'm going to have six refeeds and they're going to be each on a Sunday. And they're going to, for now, they're going to add carbs to them. Hopefully as time goes on, I would lessen the carbs. So how it's going to start, I'm going to have a pea protein. I'll leave the picture of my pea protein here. One scoop of that, 10 mils uh, to 100 mils of water, probably about 80 mils of water because I like it a little thick. And then I'm going to have some seaweed with this. And the seaweed is going to help with my thyroid because my thyroid would have gone down through the days of fasting that I've had. And to help them help my metabolism, um, 
the iodine in the seaweed is going to be very good for this. Now, I get the seaweed, no salt, no onion, garlic, no mixture of anything like that. There's pure sea salt and seaweed. These are thin and there's like 24, I don't know, it's 24 calories per pack. Per pack is nine, I don't know. Let me see. How many is in there? I don't know. But there's quite a few. And my daughter tends to like to eat them with me as well. So the calories is 24 calories for one. And uh, carbohydrates is 0 0.4. Protein is 1.4. Iodine is 122. And I don't actually know how that all works out with the iodine. But it's high enough to help because if you have too much iodine, that can be damaging as well. So that's what I've got. And I do like these. I get these ones from Sainsbury's in England. But I originally got my first pack from Whole Foods. So check that out. And then I got myself a mixed baby salad. Now, one of these things I was kind of not happy about buying salad. Because I just didn't want to waste money. Because I'm only eating for the one. So unfortunately, it probably is going to go to waste. But what can you do? Sorry. Let me backtrack. So I'm going to have the pea protein and this. And then I'm going to have a small bowl of mussels. Now, shellfish is very good protein to break your fast with. So I'm going to have that. It is mixed with butter. Not salad dressing. This salad packet. And I'm going to have it mixed with uh, olive and garlic probably um, dressing. It's going to have sauerkraut. It's going to have fermented cabbage. I've got some tomatoes there, some baby cucumbers. I've got my massive avocado and I've got this beetroot. And I prefer these beetroot than the fresh ones because fresh ones go off too much. As much as this is not the best because it's not fresh and it's in, in its own juices. It is got its own juices, but it has got beetroot, water, sugar, vinegar and salt. And I would prefer if it was fermented but what what can i do you can't always find these things that you need but it's better than nothing and i may add a little bit of cheese to my salad after that i'm gonna wait and i'm gonna have the carbs meal which is vegetable rice and some stew dumplings an hour after that so it should take me like around four hours all in all to to consume all of that but I say that that's what I plan to have. But I say that it all depends on how I feel and how my body adjusts to me consuming the food. So, yeah, guys. But apart from that, sorry, I am a little bit tired and cold and physically hungry. But I'm going to push on through. I'm going to make my shot right now and then I'm going to just get on with some work and just try to do as much as I can. But otherwise, I don't feel like I'm going to break my fast or do anything silly. I'm on a roll now. So, yeah, I just want to check in and let you know, guys. So if you're new to the channel, remember, consider subscribing. I make faith-based content, intermittent fasting, health and fitness, and a feminine lifestyle. And if you're a continuous subscriber, oh, thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. And I have a comment section that has loads of bits in it. Just check that out. Take care. Okay guys, I just thought I would check in. It's a little bit after five, about five minutes past five. And I'll just let you know like where I'm at. So I have a meeting at six o'clock online. And um, I'm going to make some cupcakes with Eden. Because I promised her from like last week I'll do it with her. And believe me, I'm okay. Like I'm one of those people that can cook and that can bake and do things on a fast and it doesn't affect me that's because i've had years of messing up and and understand it's not worth it so i don't really get tempted if you know what i mean even as i am really hungry i'm like physically hungry not mentally not emotionally because why i know is because i'm drinking this like it's kind of food but to be honest i don't think i've drank enough today and i don't think i'm going to drink um the liter today let's see because it's five now and I've had, this is my first glass and I've had I've had a since I spoke to you last I had the shot so let's see apart from that I'm good I feel like a slight headache coming on but it's not really there yet but let's hope it doesn't happen I did think I was gonna um you know poo myself again 
but I just let out some wind. I rushed to the toilet and there was nothing there, so I'm glad because I am a little bit concerned that um, it's going to happen again. Not that I go out, so it's quite good I'm doing this while I'm in lockdown and quarantine, and especially even if the the lockdown gets lifted, I'm staying in and Eden's not going to nursery until I decide what I'm doing. Um, apart from that, it's good. I've been doing a little bit of cleaning today. I've got a little bit more to do. But another thing that um, I decided to do, you know, when I spoke about I'm not going to work, I'm still not going to do any heavy cardio, but I am going to do um, some stationary cardio. So I've decided to do the Chloe, is her name Chloe Fling, Chloe Ting? I'm going to do one of her, one or two of her challenges. I'm going to do the plank one and I'm going to do the bum one. And the reason why is because I don't want any sagging skin while I'm losing this body fat. And my bum has gone down. I'm one of those people, I don't have naturally have a big bum. But when I put on weight, it, get, it comes there. And the only time I've had a really nice bum and been slim is when I've really worked it out. Like, so... It's not hard rock or anything like that. It's still very soft and very feminine, but I have to work at it. And if you've watched my BBL video, you know I've had plastic surgery, so that doesn't work for me in any shape or form. And I'm not going down that road, especially for that, anytime soon. I'm going to try to work it myself. So on that note, I I know the, the bum challenge is just 100 bridge exercises a day and then another thing I'm doing because I remember I told you I suffer from fat arms even when I was slim I am going to do five press-ups every hour just to kind of break up my working day and that is about it guys so it's nothing heavy and then every other day we're going to go for a walk so this evening we'll go for a walk it's windy though so I don't know I don't know I might do it tomorrow it just feels really cold outside so um, I would like to take her to something called the Greenway and just have a walk with her while she goes on her scooter. And that way, because it's um, gated and it's a long path, I can run and not worry about if she's going to run into the road or I'm going to lose her in any way. So I might do that, but let's see. Apart from that, I've done one set of the push-ups and one set of the bridge workouts. So I'm going to do another one now and then I'm going to make the cake with Eden and then I've got my meat in and then it's time to tie um, down down for the day, clean up my office and then just try to pl use my planner and find out what... Open my planner and just try to get some work done for tomorrow, plan for tomorrow. Apart from that, I'm, I'm good, guys. I am physically hungry but i'm okay for the grace of god i've been praying just to keep me on track i keep remembering the results i've got how bad it feels to cheat and all that good stuff and what i've got look, to look forward to so i'm holding on another thing is i actually in my head when i was speaking to you i actually was like thinking i was going to break my fast tomorrow just so now i've got another day it does feel a little bit daunting now saying it if i was going to break my fast tomorrow i think i would be a lot more excited but yeah see you soon i'll check back in with you hey guys just checking in again it's around uh okay, so sorry guys let me check the time it's about yeah quarter past seven i had my um, meeting for my boutique it went really well so i'm just sitting here and sometimes i forget i'm a woman and you know I love being a woman and there's parts about being a woman I used to hate even just a couple of months ago, you know, like, Lord, why do we have to have periods? Not even that. Why do we have to have periods that hurt? Why do we have to have periods that knock you out for six? Because how are you meant to be successful until I found Jesus and I realized that, you know, everything happens through him. So the process of achievement and everything just goes through him. I don't question all that little stuff. But with doing the fasting, um, especially now I've committed to do 41, 42 days, which is nearly six weeks, refeeding six times in that in that six weeks. I forgot, you know, that I'm, I menstruate and I have a period. And thinking about that, I was thinking my periods for the last couple of months have got a lot better. I used to suffer really, really bad. So now they're heavy, but not 
I can't go out heavy because that's how they used to be and they used to knock me for six like I used to have to be in the bed but that's probably because all the sin I've lived in my life now they've just got a lot better and the pain is like so bearable before I used to feel like I was in constant contractions so maybe that's why I forgot that I even have periods but I have to remember and then you know the way I've been feeling which is I think I would not have put it down to anything I remember when I done ADF for the first time and I remember doing so well and I'm um, two weeks in or whatever and then I I stepped on the train and I could just smell food but it was I smell food all the time, but I could smell food. And I was like, what is going on? And then when I looked, I came on the next day. So that was kind of explained it. So now I'm here sitting here thinking, I looked on my, my period app and I realized I'm coming on a Monday. So I'm like, so what am I gonna do? Am I gonna do one meal a day? Am I gonna do what I plan to do if I don't reach my my weight goal after the six weeks which is 72 hours salt uh, snake juice feed afterwards so feeding about twice a week three times a week maybe and I, I, I just thought to myself what I'm gonna do so then I've made a decision because one thing I have to give you advice for and it comes to all IF make a decision be flexible but stick with it because if you're in two minds you will always be failing there'll always be a reason why you can't do something or a reason why you don't feel like it but if you make a decision and obviously allow yourself to be flexible i think you'll you'll achieve more and i'm when i say i'm i'm doing this i'm not doing this lightly like i'm not happy that i have to change my feeding day but i feel like given that i've decided I am going to alternate fast next week because I'm on. It would be better if I don't break my fast on Sunday. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. And just break it on the Monday. Because that will give me a good six solid days, which is what I would have done if I never cheated on Monday. I don't want to do it. I'm telling you I don't want to. But I know I'm going to end up doing it. And it's going to be hard very very hard because in my mindset I am gearing myself up to eating on Sunday to the fact that I even thought it was for tomorrow I thought today was Saturday anyway let me show you my chart and I will let you know what I've come up with okay so guys my daughter keeps coming up and rubbing this and because she keeps rubbing herself on it it keeps rubbing off so I'm, I'm having to keep redoing it I'm going to leave it at the back of my chair now so as you can see, fast to the bone, lose 40, 14 kg, 30 pounds. Cheated, succeed, succeed, succeed. Today, succeed. And I was meant to refeed. So I'm going to refeed here. I'm going to eat the same thing because I don't think I can even cope with changing it. So I'm going to break my fast at 3 o'clock. And then I'm going to fast from 7 all the way and then I'm going to do Omed and break my fast at six. Fast, break my fast at six. I don't know how many hours that's going to be, I'll work it out and let you know. The same thing and then Sunday and I'm happy with that and the thing is from now on I'm going to make sure all my high carb days are going to be on here from now on so the days I want to take my daughter to afternoon tea or I want to get a takeout which I've decided is going to be I have got a set budget and I'm going to make it I say every two months and that sounds ridiculous for someone that used to not that I used to eat takeaway a lot but somehow you always before the lockdown you look back and you're like 50 100 pounds on takeaway what have I done so I don't want to be in that position so maybe once a month or every two months but remember as well I'm going to afternoon tea with my daughter every three weeks no once every three weeks at home and once every three weeks at the shop so that's um yeah it's better I do that because another thing as well I do come on every three weeks 
So if a month has five weeks in it, I'm I'm on for two twice a month. It's so irritating. So my periods are every three, every twenty three days. Can you imagine? So this will probably be ideal. Really, I'm trying to look on the bright side of things. This will be ideal for me to eat um, alternate alternate day fast, and then carry on doing the fast of the bone and then put in a few 72 hours in there just to keep the weight at bay and make sure it's one meal a day and not eating throughout like crazy throughout the day because I can't do eating every day one meal a day I'm not here to try to maintain anything if 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 anything even if I get to my weight goal it's more about autophagy and cell repair if anything so i'd rather do 48 hours or you know alternate but i don't know how many hours it's going to be apart from that i just thought i'd give you that insight um i know that a lot of women are very unsure about what they should do on their periods and so was i i was thinking to myself maybe i could just fast but i remember clearly how it felt when i was an alternate day fasting and how hard it is and I think it's unnecessary as women we are childbearing so we have to take that into fact and I don't want to do myself any unnecessary damage but at the same time by snake juice and snake fast and all the way it's not like I am a beast overweight so I can um, as much as it's paining me I really wanted to see the full results of doing it but I just don't know why I didn't think about my period like that just that's just the strangest concept to me but I am now and now I'm going to plan um, my heavy eat, eating around that time. It feels good when I think about it like that, actually, to be honest with you. So, guys, thank you so much for listening to me. If you're new, consider subscribing. I make faith based content in Christ, intermittent fasting, health and fitness and a feminine lifestyle. And I will check back with you at the end of the night because I am going to have a bath now. Give the baby something to eat. Have an early bath, a salt bath and go to bed. Guys, All right, good night. The power of the mind is on a whole different level. Why is it that all of a sudden I've got period pains? All day. It's literally half seven at night. And it's only when I was watching someone on YouTube talk about her cycle that I think, let me check when I'm coming on my period so I can maybe adjust this new program to that. And all of a sudden, I'm getting period cramps. My cousin spoke about her period earlier, about an hour ago, and it did. And we come on at the same time, and it didn't trigger me. Now, I've been triggered. All of a sudden, I'm in pain. Oh, Jesus of Nazareth, help me. Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd rant for that. I'm gonna go in the bath now, and pray for me for the next two days. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna cope. Guys, when I'm in, I've, I feel like I've got all the symptoms. I am knackered. My belly's hurting me. My breasts has just started tingling. I'm just like, really? And then in the shower, in the bath, all I'm thinking about is, hmm, could I take the food that I was going to break my fast with and spread it out? Fast with the pea protein, the seaweed and the mussels on Sunday and then the salad and the rice and the dumplings on Monday. To be honest, if I was coaching someone, I would say that was a better idea, especially because of the carbs. Because at least with the pea protein, the seaweed and the salad, there's no carbs in that. Unless I put plant in, but there's no carbs in that. But and that will ease my digestion. Logically, it makes more sense. But I don't know if I'm doing it for a logical reason. I'm just doing it because the idea of waiting till Monday to eat is killing me. And I don't know why it's killing me. Because I know I can do it. But with the way I'm feeling, and I don't even know how I'm feeling really. I mean, I've just got a little bit of symptoms. Or the anticipation of how I would feel. But then I haven't had a bad period in months. So it's like the likelihood of it being a bad period is very slim. So then what have I got to worry about? I really don't know. I'm just I'm just feeling all up in the air right now. And 
I mean, for face value, I would like to be able to fast on Monday. But at the same time, I know it would be better to spread that food I was going to have, prolong it. But then again, would I have had it? Would I have actually been able to eat all of that on Sunday? So that's what I was hoping I wouldn't be able to. <sighs> Lord, forgive me. Guys, I'm going to pray on it. And I'm just going to see how I feel. It's Friday. We're going to bed early. And let's wake up Saturday and see how that goes. Yeah, you see, I've not even drank a lot of my water. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to try to drink a bit more. But to be honest, I feel fine. Like, I don't feel dizzy or lethargic. Like, you should have seen me on my water fast. I was on my death. I spent maybe the, the last three of the five days in my bed, like, just like this. Just doing the basics for my daughter. So this has just been a lifesaver, guys. I recommend this so much. But the monkey mind and the physical hunger, yeah. But it practice. Practice. But I'm holding on in Jesus' name. Okay, guys. I'll check in in a bit. Alright, guys. So I've just come in come here just to say goodnight. I'm feeling really shit. My stomach's hurting me and I'm just feeling a little bit tender and I'm feeling really emotional with all this black Black Lives Matter stuff. And yeah, it's just making me feel emotional. Not sh not knowing when I should break this fast. I feel like my period might come a little bit more earlier than what do I do? I don't know. I'm. It's really, it's about half eight in the evening. I'm just gonna go to bed because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna cry, honestly. I'm just going to get the baby ready to, for bed, let her watch a little bit of TV and then 9 o'clock she's going to go to bed because I just want to cry. I can't even drink. I've drank a little bit more. I'll gulp another two and then I'm just going to go to bed because I don't know if I'm getting a headache. Or, I just feel shite. But I'm going to hold on and I'll, I'll revalue everything tomorrow. Hopefully with a night's sleep I'll feel better. Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.